Want to win one of 10 iPads or up to $10,000? It's the 25th anniversary of .com, so tell us how .com has changed your life. Write your story at howdoyou.com and you could win. Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the Kiwi U powered solar and USB portable charger. This device here, and you get it for about 50 bucks. Now, what this is, as the name suggests, it's a solar charger. So if we open up the uh, leaves like this, you'll see that it folds out into three. And then, obviously, that's more surface area to actually catch the sun. Now, on this main panel here, there's uh, a couple of buttons. The bottom button, will light up these uh, indicator lights. The four indicator lights there indicates we have a full charge. There's also on the top here a three LED flashlight. Kind of just a little add-on. It might be useful in a pinch, but uh, not really a, a major buying feature. Now in the package you get this little carrying case. And inside this right now we have all of the adapter tips. It comes with 11 adapter tips in total, which we thought was kind of a nice touch. Um, all too often you'll have to kind of buy uh, specialized tips for, for your phone or for your, for your other devices. So in this case, we have a, uh, an included uh, iPod 30-pin connector, which you can use with your iPhone. And there's a bunch of others here, uh, Sanyo, Sony, uh, Ericsson, Samsung phones. There's a mini B, uh, mini B USB, a, a micro B USB, as well as some just standard um, pass-throughs like this. I believe this is the Sony Ericsson one here. Now, we can charge this device using the rays of the sun or using the included um, plug-in wall adapter which you'll then plug in a USB port here and then plug into the device on the side here. Or you can charge it using this included car adapter. So it's a nice touch. You really do get a lot of options. Now, if you put the, um, the solar, solar charger in the sun for basically a full day on a nice sunny day, you will get a full charge. We left it in a window on a, on a couple of overcast days, and it, we, we were only able to get about a half uh, charge in the full day that we put it out there. Now, that wasn't indirect sunlight. Obviously, it's overcast, and it's also in a bit of a, a shady kind of window. So what we can do is uh, this is the tip we, uh, we have on there right now. This is actually the tip that you'll use to plug into the charging port, which we can see the closest guy up. We can see on the side here. So now we can actually plug directly into this, plug this other end into a computer, into the included wall charger, or into... Uh, the vehicle adapter and actually fully charge the, uh, the device here. Or we can take the included cable here and flip it around, plug the USB port into the USB port on the side of the device here, select which tip we're going to use. In this case, we'll be looking for the, uh, the micro B USB. So we could take this adapter tip and plug it into any uh, micro B USB um, port, like on a Nexus One or on a Mophie Juice Pack. Or if we pull our iPhone out of the Mopi Juice Pack here, we can actually plug in the 30-pin connector like that. Now we'll plug it in, and you'll see that we'll, uh, we'll immediately start getting a charge. Now it has a 2,000 milliamp hour battery inside the, uh, inside the solar charger. So for context, the battery inside an iPhone is 1,150 milliamp hours. So that basically means you'll be able to charge it one plus times, maybe one and two thirds or one and three quarter times. So that's a quick look at the Kiwi U-powered solar charger. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting Hover.com slash Gadget TV.